Hello guys. So today is the last day in a soccer spirit update event where you can get a six star Mera. You can get them later, but actually if you show up today, you get all six. So that's pretty much enough to seven star any player. Uh, I'm just going to be showing you myself seven starring another player using these Meras. And if any of you doesn't know who to seven star in their team, you can just drop down your team formation, your players, and we can give you some opinions. Just know that when you 7-star, you decrease the reflex of the player. So just never do that on your center mid. So I've already recuperated all the Meras. I'm just going to check I didn't actually lock one or two. I, I always do that just in case I, I'll do a little accident. No, I already unlocked it. Okay, so who to train in my team? I personally decided to go with uh, one of the most advised players for this is the passer because he's not really supposed to be used the way I do and giving him speed would be kind of cool based on my line. Here, and as, as I've told a lot of you, it's, it's better to seven star player when you have enough to make uh, or you own uh, a seven, uh, seven, six star penguin that just works better. So this feature just costs too much. I'm never actually going to use it. But I'm not going to do the skill points right away. Actually, oh, what? I don't have one? Now I do. So again, they're not that expensive to make. You just need the base penguins. And if you don't have one, wait for tomorrow. They're going to be giving you one for free. And uh, the Kumas, unless you're you're doing this on a Thunder player, they're, they're still decent. They're just not as cool. I think Thunder players can go up to level 68 directly from it. That's just insane. So I'm just going to throw any other useless penguins in there too. I don't really care. They're just going to level up like they regularly do, but it gives me an excuse to dump stuff I don't use at a ridiculously low cost. Okay, now about on 66, and I'm going to have currently one extra skill point compared to before. So basically, this is the skill that I'm going to finally be able to max out when I'm done with this. More speed, more pass. When maxed out, I'm going to be hitting 30. So there's another 12% in it for me. It was just pretty nice knowing that I run a Vonchi line. So if we put him here, now he's going to be around 93%. I mean, 93 speed. It was just pretty cool. So again, you need to know which players you're going to be doing this with because some don't make sense and some make much more sense. Also, a lot of you who save for the weekend to get the gold, I would advise doing the Android because they actually give you a lot of GP instead, who Endgame is a much better resource. Uh, I would show you me selling, but it's too close to me getting a free 20,000. So have a good day, guys. And for a lot of you who've been asking about the stone guide, I've actually already finished creating the template. I've set it up so people will be able to edit. And I'm going to be posting the links up and a video about it when I've actually put a lot of content in it because I've just put one basic build to get people's feedback on how it looks like. Uh, I'll put the link of the work in progress just in case you also have some opinions. But it's, it's still at the very beginning, and I'm going to be adding a lot of stuff, so don't await it to be perfect right from the start. Have a good day, guys.